What's up guys, it's your boy Black Root back with another video. Before I start, cue Indigo Saint. Let's get it. Indigo Saint in the building. Black Root investing, let's go. Misbeliever was black who invested With your money you ain't gotta be guessing Profits is what we manifest So we binge on a black who invested Misbeliever was black who invested Got course in this race we invested We got stocks we got crypto with a blessing So thank God for that black who invested Misbeliever was black who invested My man Indigo Alright guys so what I put on the title is not clickbait uh, we'll, we'll just jump into it no intro Oh, yeah. Come over here and check this out right, oh, I right here. And I don't know if y'all can see that. Let me see if I can zoom in here. Okay, so we got a comment from Sephiroth 000. Must be a Final Fantasy fan or a fan of the um, uh, Kabbalah or something like that because Sephiroth's one of the seven. Well, anyway. <laughs> L A L B T versus L C X, and I told him I had to do some research on A L B T before I could actually answer that question. But I sent a shout out to my guy Crypto Logic John. I did a collaboration on John's channel. Go check him out. John's also on Twitter. Check out my guy Crypto Logic John. Um, also high on L uh. ALBT so I know it's good but I got to do some research on it so this is the video in which I do research on ALBT so I gotta say guys um, I checked it out and we're gonna check it out right now together um, and also this leads me into another video which we'll do after this um, like I won't cover it today it's a little outside the scope of this video but we will cover cryptos that are ISO 20022 compliant. And that's ISO 20022. So we'll cover them, but they are a little bit outside the scope of the video. We're just going to cover Alliance Block versus LCX. So Alliance Block, they've only been around for not that long. Not that long. So since 2020 and these guys have gotten into the one dollar mark a few times and this is actually the last time bitcoin halved was six twenty two or five five four twenty twenty so they came in right before the like the real big stuff of the of the um of the bull market only to go way back down here to five cents so as far as if it can get back to a dollar my goodness then we got what here five times ten is fifty cents we got we got a 20x or more if it can get back to a dollar right so that's something if we look at lcx it's around the same price uh, and it is around the same circulating supply as LCX. LCX is a little under a billion. This one is just at a billion. Ma uh, total supply, excuse me, not circulating supply, total supply. LCX is like 950 million, and this one is a billion. So push there, right? So both for price potential are great. But this one's actually reached a dollar, whereas LCX has only gotten to 50 cents, right? Um, I like I like some of the things they tell us about it here, and we're just gonna we're gonna watch this video. But first, let's look at their partners. The fact that they're partnered with Quant, I like Holo, but we'll, we'll get back to them. They're more like an Internet of Things. The fact that they're partnering with Quant and Chainlink, if we come down here, Ocean, Parsec, all um, 
kind of data providers. Parsec's more like a um, Oracle too, like Chainlink, but kind of a data provider as well. Injective Protocol, Hedera, Elrond. So it's partnered with a lot of people that LCX is partnered with and that is partnered by, partnered with um, Hedera, it's partnered with Quant, and it's partnered with Chainlink. So that's pretty cool there. We got um, Amazon Web Services, really great list of partners here. Polygon, great list of partners here. Now we look at some of the things it wants to do, kind of lays it out right here for us. Simplifying cross-border activity. Now when it says cross-border activity, I'm, I'm assuming that it means like across um, international borders like those type of country borders because that's a huge problem with uh, clearing payments to try to transfer to one fiat to another one that there's some you know there's some fees there to happen as well as time regulated digital asset offering everybody wants to offer digital assets and do like regulated token tokenized digital assets um, compliant decentralized open finance solution so giving loans, that's cool. Fund distribution, regulated, digital digital digitalized, digitized, excuse me. Jeez, can't talk today. Uh, <laughs> derivatives, so um, regulated, digitized derivatives, that's awesome. Like some people really like to play derivatives. And derivatives, you can think of like how we got stocks and stocks have options derivatives like that um, compliant peer-to-peer -peer lending for institutional clients which again kind of goes back to um, time kind of goes back to cross-border activity you got it peer-to-peer it's gonna be a lot faster than using the middleman but let's come over here and check out that video I have it pulled up here and you know how we do it we're gonna watch it a little bit faster than normal because that's just how we do around here get more things done in a day right i was gonna put it on one and a half but i'll just do 1.25 okay so here we go as decentralized finance emerges rapidly traditional finance institutions are here let me uh turn up the volume and start it over again my apologies on that gotta have that volume up Pump up the volume, you know. As decentralized finance emerges rapidly, traditional finance institutions are only watching from the sidelines, unable to participate in the massive innovations, mainly due to compliance and regulatory restrictions. The question has become... So it's cool that they want to link traditional finance and DeFi. So or in this case, from the like graph, DeFi and traditional, excuse me. So that's sweet, but let's go on. How to connect traditional finance markets with the decentralized and digital asset markets in order to allow a seamless and compliant flow of capital between both worlds. At Alliance Block, we aim to bridge traditional finance and DeFi to add value to both areas and therefore create the future of finance. The Alliance Block Protocol will help financial institutions eliminate inefficiencies and take advantage of the potential of DeFi. We will enable much greater access to DeFi products, which will see billions of dollars flow into the space. In doing so, we will unlock DeFi for the world. We are building the protocol as a series of interconnecting but independent modules. These modules will combine to form the Alliance Block Protocol, but can also operate as standalone products. The initial product set includes seven products. One of these products is our trustless Know Your Customer and Anti-Money Laundering Identity Verification Module. This will allow users to prove their identity in a trustless manner while also giving... So they say Anti-Money Laundering, Know Your Customer, but that's also so you can get your, your butt uh, taxed right there. So, but moving on. ...and control of their data. This module feeds into our cross-border regulatory compliance rule engine, another module. Once verified, users can share their data across the wider Alliance Block protocol and start using the product while being compliant with the regulations in different jurisdictions. 
This includes products such as our compliant peer-to-peer -peer lending, borrowing, and investment protocol, which will allow the likes of... So very important, compliant peer-to-peer -peer lending. So the fact that they're kind of hedged up and teamed up with uh, Quant and uh, Hedera Hashgraph, these are the ones that are teamed up with uh, LCX, hence are teamed up with the, De the World Economic Forum. So compliance is a big thing. The wealth managers to digitize real world assets and have investors lend against them. It will also feed into our DeFi investment terminal, which will give users access in real time, granular and actionable blockchain data and aims to be the DeFi Bloomberg terminal. Our data tunnel module will make it easy for anyone to publish, monetize, use and analyze data. Our pricing engine will provide derivatives and structure. So they're analyzing the data on top of that. That's, you know, that's the world that we live in. Analyzation of data is big money, hence they're going to be, that's why they're going to be doing it. <laughs> Product pricing and cutting edge risk analytics. This will be able to, for example, solve the risk of impermanent loss for liquidity providers. It will be open to all DeFi liquidity mining programs. All of our products rely on data. But it'll be also open to derivative products like sort of like options and futures, like if you think something's going to go up or down. You're going to have derivative products there that they're going to offer you. And of course, the part that they don't mention our derivative products are more risky. So um, you can get liquidated on them. So there it is. And our final module is our on-chain investment data API. Our API will house both on-chain data from multiple blockchains, as well as data from specialist providers. This can be used by DeFi partners, such as Parsec, Chainlink, and API3. So, Parsec, Chainlink, and API3, they can farm out your data. They can now take that data and sell that data. Uh, Parsec will allow them to do that. Um, Ocean will allow them to do that as well. So, um, again, they are going to farm your data. And um, depending on the, um, the rules they have set up, they may be able to sell your data and like how well or how bad you're doing because they already know your KYC here. They may be able to sell your data and get extra money for themselves. But will they give that extra money back to you? Remains to be seen. Probably not. <laughs> and understand it. I, that doesn't mean I'm not bullish on them. I'm just saying. I'm just saying the facts as they come to me. Uh, I think this whole idea itself is great. Um, there needs to be kind of a middleman, a DeFi middleman for some traditional finance people. And you know, instead of them trying to go build one, you know, some type of crypto or um, some type of DeFi on their own. They may just t choose to be like, okay, let's just pipe, pipe our stuff through Alliance Block since they already got it set up. You know, that 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 saves them money. They don't have to build out this whole infrastructure and track, like it's already built for them. All they have to do is connect their pipeline to um, Alliance Block. As well as traditional firms aiming to build new innovative trading algorithms, these first seven modules represent the foundations of the Alliance Block ecosystem and a fully decentralized, globally compliant capital market, which will allow both traditional finance and decentralized finance players to connect, interact, and eventually ensure a flawless capital flow between both worlds. Building the future of Binance. Okay, I like that, I like that. Like, the bringing the bridge, they're not trying to replace Swift, they're not trying to you know, they're not trying to replace existing finance. They want to be the bridge of existing finance. That's pretty cool. And I saw somewhere they had that they're also applying to be ISO uh, 2002 compliant, which like kind of lends them to do like uh, cross border stuff like they were saying below here simplifying cross-border activity they're going to do all cross-border activity in a compliant manner they're going to have to be iso uh 20022 um compliant let me see if i said that right 20022 right uh compliant 
Um, and Hedera already is, Quant already is. So they're already hanging with the with the crowd that is already compliant like that. So um, chances are it's going to make it easier for them to be compliant as well, right? So I like these use cases. I like this coin. But is it better than LCX? Hell no. Uh, no, it's not. It's not better than LCX. So I'm going to ask, answer my man back. Uh, no, L LCX has a way brighter future in my opinion. Uh, this will just, this will bridge um, that gap and that's cool. But LCX is a, an exchange. It's going to get that exchange money. Um, it's going to have like things like TMNs. And um, it's directly connected to the WEF. Not like a third party, not a second party. It's directly, it's a literal member of the WEF. Um, so I would, I would say that LCX is better in my opinion. However, I do like Alliance Block. Um, shout out to my guy Sephiroth 000 or Sephiroth triple O. I don't know what he prefers or she prefers or they prefer. Um, <laughs> I, I don't know. But uh, I, I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. I'm going to add this to my watch list. And we're going to be we're going to be watching this from now on on uh, the Black Roo Investing Channel uh, with all our uh, the Black Roo family, Black Ruvians. We're going to be watching this. All right. Um, definitely come over to the channel. Um, like and subscribe. Come over and check me on Rockfin, too. Uh, I don't have my Rockfin currently up. But um, link will be in the description where you can go and sign up and get me on Rockfin too. I cover more like kind of esoteric things over there on Rockfin. But yeah, guys, thanks so much for watching. Thank you guys for uh, 12, 1,200 um, subscribers. Let's get to 1,500. Hell, let's get to 2K. Um, thanks so much for watching, guys. And check out some of my past videos over here. Peace.